Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. So, it's been a while. We've been working on this. I think this actually was the last video I put out was Farming Simulator. But this is mainly what I've been working on. It's been sort of a rough week. I haven't been feeling well. And the energy I have had, I have been putting into doing... Um, uh, setting up a, a pen and paper campaign for my role-playing group. But I have finally gotten things around. As you can see from the top right, we have one and a half million dollars. We have some new equipment that I don't think we had last time. Uh, I upgraded the one Massey Ferguson we had, so these two are now identical. They're both the, uh, the more powerful tractors. I got this for the cotton, because he still had the cotton in the field. So I've got that. I also ended up getting a, a, a semi, a tractor to uh, pull this trailer for, for the cotton bales so that I could run both harvesters at once, which has sort of saved me because doing one at a time, I mean, I tried planting like all three fields with a single crop and using the one harvester. God, did that just take forever to do. <laughs> but we do have crops in the fields right now. We do need to get to work harvesting on this, but I do want to also get my chainsaw out yeah why don't you not do that no you are here i thought maybe you were sleeping or something well i was trying but you could make a noise well i do that when i work growler now why does this thing want to do that this thing just oversteers so badly let's put a view in in here can we oh i'm turning the wrong way that's why it's not working it's, it's hard to turn right when you're turning left. <laughs> so I've been planting cop, uh, cotton in the new field just like was there originally. Um, and uh, running this harvester off the road, I mean running this harvester on that field, and then running the other harvester on these two fields, and it's been working out pretty good. We've been making almost half a million dollars per harvest, which tells you I have not been spending a lot of time on this. I mean, obviously... Like the first harvest uh, or two, I you know ended up spending a lot of money. Oh, you you probably you probably already noticed that we had an additional silo. I discovered with the extra field that silo wasn't enough. <laughs> now I really wish I'd gotten the big silo to start off with, but uh, I'm I, I'm not certain whether or not to keep this cotton harvesting equipment because my plans don't require it. Um, but I, so I'm s sort of debating whether to keep this cotton harvesting equipment and then get an additional field for doing cotton uh, later on. That's a little off, but it'll work. Okay, we'll get, we got him going. Let's move over here. Can I please have the harvester? There we go. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. <clears throat> whether to uh, keep the cotton harvesting equipment and then later on, maybe run into the house. Would you stop wrecking Growler stuff? I am doing a good job of maintaining your stuff. Better than you guys are. I've seen you and Lance, like, run into cars and all sorts of stuff while I've been doing this. Well, it happens. Sometimes they just get in the way. Yeah, I guess they do. All right. I've attempted to purchase that field up there, even though I'm not very fond of it. But I figured that way... You know, we could plant cotton up there because my actual plan here is to have to go around to all of these different guys again. There we go. Take the cover off. Yeah, this is my procedure for every harvest that takes hours to harvest and replant. I've also been having problems since I got that third field. This field is having the strangest, or these two fields are having the strangest problem that... A bunch of weeds will grow in this weird pattern, like uh, um, um, right after I right after I seed the field, and then by the time the rest of the field ha has weeds in it, so I you know I'm ready to weed the thing. Those weeds have already grown so high that they can't be dealt with by the weeder. So it's like, either I have to weed twice, which is a real pain in the rear, or uh, I have to 
do the harvest and then wait a day uh, before uh, 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 planting again. So it's, I'm not sure which is more annoying. Either way, doing it, waiting, waiting the day is probably the easiest the neatest way to do it because it just seems like I never get the field weeded completely if I do it the other way. But what I want to do first off today is we are going to uh, not do that. We are going to do this and we are going to buy this. There we go. So now we own, let's actually go over here. Biogas plant visit. There we go. Okay. So now we own all of this, which means this thing is going to produce uh, basically the liquid fertilizer for us. Um, which I wonder is in the last game that went into the slurry uh, spreader, just like just like the slurry from the animals did. But now they're actually calling it liquid fertilizer, I think. So I wonder, is it still going to be spread by the slurry equipment? Or is it going to go in the liquid fertilizer spreaders? Oh god, now I'm probably going to end up spending 50 grand finding that out. Because there will be no way to find it out otherwise. I'll probably I'll go check the wiki between episodes and see. Uh, it's going to be a while before that produces enough anyways. Oh, there's a reminder. I need to take my, I need to take my morning medicines. I will do it after recording. Um, so now we can use these bunkers, which means that what I want to plant in this field after it's harvested is corn. And we need uh, a forage harvester. Because we are going we are gonna to forage harvest that to get chaff and then fill up one of these bunkers. And then we can sell it uh, as a... Uh, 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 into the biogas silage into the biogas plant here which looks like we deposit it right here i'm wondering though we have like a deposit area here i'm wondering if we can use a a, a a forage loader one of those loading trailers to pick it up because originally like in back in the 2015 game you would have to use a front end loader and god did it take forever i mean you just spent forever going back and forth with the front end loader and dropping it into this hopper in order to you know, make your money off from it. Um, it sounded like I was about to be attacked by a vicious dog for a moment there. Uh, but um, in the last game, we were able to use the uh, 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 um, the loading belts, whatever they're called, conveyor belts. It, my mind just does not work for remembering things anymore, especially the names of things. Uh, but we, I would use the... Um, conveyor belts and you would just set up this long chain of conveyor belts and just set it up you know right at the beginning of the bunker and you just dump the dump the stuff in that way it still took a while but nowhere near as long as using a front end loader um but i'm wondering now since the forage harvester or the forage uh loading uh, trailers will actually pick up silage so i'm wondering if i could just drive a trailer over that and then just drive it over here into this area and drop it off because we have an area to drop off now. Whereas before we actually had to dump it into the hopper. So I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Uh, we're not going to need the harvester or any of that stuff yet. I am going to need it uh, um, obviously by next harvest. But uh, what I will do next is once this has harvested... I will uh, plant this field with corn, which used to be the best crop to plant if you were going to uh, do this with a biogas plant. Um, and then when it comes time to do that harvest, we will go ahead and get the new harvester and everything. So there's no point in you guys hanging around for all of this. So I will go ahead and take care of all of this and be back in an hour or two. I don't know how long it'll take. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Be back in a bit, guys. Well, here's a piece of equipment I haven't had out in a while. <laughs> so one thing I hadn't mentioned yet is part of the reason for getting this is there's this big open chunk of uh, space here. 
and we desperately need more parking area right now. Um, now hopefully, I don't know, maybe we can get away with just using the area inside the uh, biogas plant here as parking. But if nothing else, I'm going to get some of these clear trees cleared out. And um, we'll see about setting up a parking area up here with a couple more of our sheds. So we can uh, uh, um, store more equipment over here. But we have lucked out in that the spinnery right now has a great demand for cotton. And we have cotton. Let's actually, let's do this because I don't feel like screwing around jumping through all the vehicles. Go to this one. Our vehicle. There we go. So this is almost full. I thought you guys would like to see how this thing works. It is sort of cool. And you can see this looks like a slightly smaller version of our regular harvester. I wonder why it has the little runny guy there. A um, little bit different arrangement, but otherwise pretty cool. No, uh, not much of a view. In, oh, actually, there is quite a view in the back. We can't see the cotton back there. Look at that. I've never noticed it because I guess I never looked when the thing was just about full. <laughs> But let's uh, watch here. It's about to dump another bale, and you'll see you'll see another one of these bales in the field over there. And then we will pick up. I've already got one bale picked up in the tractor trailer over there, and we will go ahead and pick up uh, that other bale in just a moment. Oh, I didn't notice this thing has dualies on the front. I guess I did notice it. I just sort of forgotten about it. Helper G has completed their task. Really? We're going to have to wait for you to start the next field before you're going to dump your bale? <laughs> Come on! We want to see you open up. All right. Yeah, as you can see, that, that message I just got was saying the other harvester is done. And as you can see, we still have a lot of field to do on this one. And that's why... Hello, airplane. That's why... I don't know if you can hear that, but... Um, that's why I'm not sure about keeping this, because it is so slow. But I am leaning towards keeping it and getting that other field as I was talking and continuing to do cotton, just because it is sort of cool. I mean, look at this bale of cotton. It's just amazing. Okay, let's go ahead, and I'm going to move over here to this. Enter vehicle. Turn. Come on. Move. Move. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, so you notice that we have tracks in the front of uh, our new harvester. I don't remember how much I showed off this harvester when I bought it. Um, another thing I like is our tractor trailer up here. And you see, I'm, I actually got rid of our old little tipper because we weren't using it. In fact, I'm tempted to get rid of the flatbed trailer too because I never use it anymore. It's just easier with the large cedars I've got to, um, to just go ahead and uh, drive over to the store and, and load the stuff up there. But I buy en masse now because we just go through so much of the stuff that I have to buy several pallets of it, several big bags of it. So go ahead and dump this off. I like the fact the tractor trailer will hold all of our harvest now. Uh, I'm going to run this over to the maintenance shop. Um, because I've got a hose over there. The hose over by those parking areas, which just annoys me so much that the level is off on those and the fact that there's no way for me to fix it. Um, so I, I actually did put another hose over here next to the shed. So it's a, a, a spot that it's a little bit easier to clean stuff up. So I can just sort of run over that there and... We'll back this up, and we'll hose it off later. And now we'll jump over here to our tractor. Okay. And I am just going to uh, drop this in the silo for right now, and then we'll go ahead and, and go sell some cotton. Oh, yeah, growler nitrous part. Yeah, you like driving these big trucks, don't you? Yep. And you're going to get to show off both trucks. Yeah. <laughs> you are a man of... of God, you are a man dr crazy driving his truck. Would you please pay attention to what you're doing? Eesh. All right. Yeah, we'll just store this in the silo for right now. 
Uh, the price isn't bad, but it's not super good either. I, I keep forgetting and just planting more canola or uh, soybeans. <laughs> So the price is steadily dropping. We better plant canola next time. I've been just basically switching back and forth between canola and soybeans. The Our other harvester head never gets used. Okay, so let's come over here. I've got a full load of tree from that. Let's go ahead and get in this guy. This engine sounds, sounds powerful. Yes, the Stinchin definitely sounds more powerful than the than the man truck. Even though this is a cheaper truck, that's actually a better truck over there. I didn't figure I really needed another fancy truck for uh, hauling this stuff around. Okay, so this. So we put it in the loading position, as you can see there. And then all you have to do is just back up. Now we've already got one bale in there, as I said. So and there it goes. It sucked up in. Now we just lower this down, and we'll go ahead and go and deliver it. It is a nicer horn, too, Growler. Thank you very much. And Growler likes that part, too. Well, let's stay on the road, Growler. Okay, so this is down, you remember we had the one field that actually butted right up against the spinnery that I actually had problems turning equipment around as I as I did. I am so glad to have these big fields, even though some of the largest equipment, like I said, I don't think some of the largest uh, equipment, some of the largest cedars are even useful. Did I actually say that or was I thinking it? I don't know. Because they're just so big, it's impossible to turn them around. Um when you're doing stuff. That's a question. I wonder if I'm going to need another cedar uh, once I start doing uh, cotton field as well as our corn field. Uh, on, Growler. And there's, there's still other stuff I want to try out, too. I'm not sure if I'll try out vegetables. I have a feeling they're just going to be a pain in the rear if we do vegetables. Um... But I do want to try out forestry, because that seems sort of interesting. Planting the poplar trees and everything. And when we hit unload. Let's see, these guys will just slide out the back. Let's see what kind of money we're going to make off from this. That's Crowler's favorite part. Even though we have no beard. No beer. Yeah. It wasn't a lot more than, than a regular sale, so the price wasn't super... I've noticed, unlike previous games, when there's a buyout for, for something, when there's great demand for something, um, in the old games, it would be really significantly better than the regular prices. But sometimes, I've, I've had instances where the regular price at one place is better than the is better than the great demand price at another one. So it seems like, I don't know what they did with the economy. I think they're trying to balance it better. But it seems like it's still sort of broken just in different ways now. <laughs> We're going to get Growler's horses. Oh yeah, we should really do that. I wonder, maybe that big area, if we don't need it for parking, I wonder if this big area is going to be enough for us to... Uh, um, um, well, we have been going a while. It's been an hour since since uh, uh, we recorded earlier. I know this because I snoozed my take meds for an hour and it just went off again. You know, when I stop this recording, I really should go and take my meds. Uh, let's pick up this other one while I'm thinking about it. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We'll pick it up when that thing's done. It's going to be a little while for that thing's done. Uh, and I am, I think, going to... Uh, it's so early in the day, though. Uh, yeah, let's risk it and go ahead and start this stuff up on the on the harvesting and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll start. We'll go ahead and start this guy going. We're gonna end up with funky weeds. I know it. It's gonna be such a pain in the rear, but I it's it's only 9:13 in the morning. I don't want to wait 24 hours. To you know, start back up. You can see I already filled this thing up. I filled it up after the last harvest, so I wouldn't have to jerk around 
with uh, um, filling it up before starting the planting process. There. Make that turn. I think I waited a little late for that, but that's okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Crap. Stop. <laughs> oh, God. Canola. There we go. Now, let's see. How bad... Is this going to let me just replant this? I hope so. I'll have to run this little bit manually, then I can hire someone afterwards. There we go. Okay, did it Did it accept that? Please, please accept that. Yes, it did. Okay, so now it's showing it is all the same crop. Canola. Okay, then I need you. Ooh, that's right. I'm not going to be able to start the planting on the other field yet. Well, that field's not done yet anyways. Um, but yeah, we need to... Uh, lime that other field so it's gonna have to wait I suppose I could lime it after I plant it but I think we'll just wait all right so I'm gonna go ahead and let this stuff run um, and then uh, I'll bring you back at the next step I guess so I'll see you in a little bit Boy, I tell you this game takes so long I've been at this for like three and a half hours now <laughs> I did not mean to spend my whole day recording this one episode, but got our fields all taken care of. The weeds did grow in a strange pattern, but not as bad as in the past. So it wasn't a horror trying to uh, weed the fields, but got it all done. Now the fields are ready to harvest again. We'll start gathering our canola here, and then we need to buy some stuff. Hire someone, we'll get out. Okay, so first things first, we are going to need a harvester. So we'll get our forage harvester. I am going to go with this New Holland. I probably could have picked this up from... Uh, or I could have gotten the crone if I'd wanted to. I think we have enough money for it. We've uh, had uh, about a million dollars. And get this and now we need a trailer not sure what one I want to get here so this is what we've got it's 48 this is 48 5 it looks like we can use this one All right, let's hope this works. Okay, let's go ahead down into town. And here we go. Here's the new harvester, the new header, and the new trailer. So let's run over a few things. <laughs> Come on, Growler, get it in gear. Yeah, 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 whatever. There we go. Yeah, because these forage harvesters do not have their own internal tanks. Like, why are you not... Oh, God, tell me that this isn't one I can't hold. It is one I cannot hold. You're kidding me. I bought this trailer specifically for this, and it can't tow it. They didn't change it so you can't tow one behind, did they? Trailers. I think it's because this has this hook hookup. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have... Uh, gotten the one with that hookup because that is required that is for a tractor okay uh, all right so we don't want that 
can we use this? It's a little bit smaller. How big is that one? 31,000. That's quite a lot smaller. Like this one. All right. Please work. I'm sick of wasting money. <laughs> No, we still, we can't tow this one either? What the hell? What is the problem? We've got a hitch on the back of this. See, we have a hitch right here. You know, what they really need to do is put some sort of descriptor in here telling you what kind of hitch something has. So we can't use the agri liner. Oh, for God's sakes. How much money are we going to waste doing this? It's not going to force me to get one of these tiny ones, is it? Let's see. Is this the one I was just looking at? I can't remember. No, it was this one we were looking at. See, that looks like just a regular ball and thingy, but it does have two additional connections. Maybe that's what the problem was. This one doesn't. This has a single connection. Oh, God. If I buy this and it's not going to work, I'm going to be so upset. Well, it'll probably help if we line up on it. No! What the hell? I I'm sick of wasting money on this, guys. Why can't I tow any of these damn things? So this is a standard single ball and hitch type trailer. Does it require this kind of connector? That could be. Okay. Sell this. And this may be all we can get. Because this is the only other type of connector I, I can see here. And of course these don't back up worth a damn because of the articulation on them. There we go. Okay. Third time's the charm, I guess. So we're only going to have one that's half the size of what I wanted. But at least it's here. Our nice new harvester, our third harvester. That is the third one we currently have. I think we had two harvesters prior to our current main harvester, if I remember right. At least this thing doesn't have to go far to deliver its uh, crop. Because we'll fill this up and then we will go and dump it off in the uh, um, in the bunkers right next door. But we definitely are not going to be able to back up with this thing. Because you just cannot back up with these trailers. Boy, that's so frustrating that we had to do that. Glad I made sure I had tons of money before we started this. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we 
has a full grain tank. Okay, uh, I haven't, I've been so busy doing this, I haven't had a chance to do anything else. Well, he's going to have to wait. You knocked a sign down. I'm not too sure that was me, Growler. That may actually have been you who knocked that sign down. So this is nice and wide, at least. We are going to... There we go. He started. What's this going to go? Oh, this is going to fill up so fast. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get our truck over here. Where is he? Oh, he's clear up there. Get ourselves in the right position. There. Okay, so... Let you do your thing. I want to come back here. So this should go a lot faster than previous because uh, this has got a lot wider head than the cotton uh, harvester does. But yeah, let's see, Are we, we're almost full up, so we're just about out of time for today, but I want to go ahead and fill this thing up and dump it into the bunker. And I don't know, I may get that, that other field in between. Yeah, you're full. How about shutting up? There we go. <laughs> And we'll go ahead and fill this bunker here. These bunkers are huge. Not used to such huge bunkers. Uh, shaft fill level. All right, let's make sure this is right. Okay, it is filling up the bunker. Fine. Yeah, this bunker is huge. Holy cow. I don't know how much we're going to actually need in this bunker in order to, uh... Nope, that's not what I wanted. I don't know how much we're going to need in that bunker in order to start compacting it. I imagine this field should be plenty enough to do that, but... Alright. So I'll get this back going on. In between episodes, I'll pick up whatever other equipment we're going to need and possibly get that other field as well so we can get our cotton harvesting going again. But that's what we were working towards, is, is getting all of this stuff going today. And we got it. Not quite as well as I would have liked. I, I, I'm annoyed about having to use such a small trailer. But it does work. Uh, I might need something to flatten and compact this. I mean, I could compact it and somewhat flatten it just by driving the harvester over it, but um, might want to actually get a front-end loader with a... Uh, let's take a look at this real quick. quick. Uh, Telehandler front loaders. Or is it a wheel loader? One. Um, here. So handlers, front loaders, wheel loaders. Let's look at the wheel loader here. Yeah, he's got a big huge bucket. It's a silage fork. Big, huge bucket. Which we can put pretty much anything in the bucket. There's no compacting thing. There's this leveler here. What's this? Oh, this actually looks really nice here. What is this attached to? I can't tell what this attaches to. I can't tell if it attaches to... Well, let's get it and see if we can... It's not expensive, at least. Actually, that's, that's four meters wide. That's four. This this one's the widest, but I sort of like this guy. This looks like it's the most useful. 
So let's go ahead and get this, and then I'll see if I can hook a tractor up to it. And that's what we'll wrap the day up with right there. Uh, I want you. Where's my other big tractor? Oh, it's sitting over there. I see it. Nope, I didn't want that. I want to drop it. Yeah, these big Massey Ferguson uh, tractors are beefy. I do sort of want to get an even bigger tractor. I'd really like to get one with the dual wheels on it just because it looks cool. <laughs> but it might also be good for, I mean, I got these for plowing, but I tell you, the, the cultivators run so much better if I use these exclusively uh, if I do any cultivating. Just because it takes so much power to pull them, this this tractor goes faster than any of the others, and it goes up to the maximum speed that the cultivator will allow. Uh, whereas the uh, the Dutch far tractor we have won't; it'll actually be a little bit slower trying to pull a cultivator, uh, which makes me wonder if I could plow a little bit faster if I got a beefier tractor to plow it with or to pull the plow with, instead of one like this which just barely meets the requirements for that. Drowler, you, you just about ran over some poor pedestrian, or uh, some, some poor uh, uh, four-wheel vehicle back there. Well, I'm in a four-wheel vehicle, so what difference does that make? They shouldn't have been trying to run me over. I, you were the one who pulled out in front of them, Growler, not, not vice versa. Okay. I don't even know which direction this is supposed to go, so let's try from the back here first off. And it... Uh, shoot. No, that's not not going to work, Growler. Growler, go around the other side. Let's see if we can pull it first before we... That does look like the hookup is in the back there. I could be wrong. We'll try from this end first. It doesn't have an obvious hookup. No, well, there we go. Okay, so it is done by a tractor. So let's go try this guy out, out real quick before we call it a day. Before we call it a day, let's try this guy out. Don't run over the four-wheel vehicles, Growler. Of course, the weight of the tractor will also help compact things. That's too bad. I sort of thought we would, uh, and somebody's almost full up, but I'm not sure who. <laughs> well, we'll find out in a minute. Um, I sort of wanted to get the uh, wheel loader for this. You know, I have a specialized vehicle just for this job, but... You know, whatever works. If we need a tractor, then I may just get another tractor for it. We've got the cash. We've got almost half a million. And then we're going to have this harvest, and we've got still half of last harvest sitting in there. Well, that was not what I meant to do. I meant to hit B, because I wasn't sure if this thing turned on or not. No, it doesn't. This really doesn't seem to do a lot. I mean, I'm not seeing a whole lot of flattening going on from this thing. I mean, we are indeed compacting. But... Uh, I don't find just rolling back and forth smushing this terribly impressive. I could have done that without this funky wheel on the back. Hmm. I'm not sure this is doing much. I guess I'll find out when this thing is more full and see if it is actually having an impact on anything for us. Let's park you over here. I wonder what this little fenced-off area is here. Hmm. All right. That's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs-up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.
that way. Right? Why should I have to scoop it over the thing? Uh, that's a robot. What am I doing? Uh, you're gonna be like an adventurer. And they call them the Vault Hunters. Well, most have all sorts of good stuff in I've been getting a little sun, and I'm silent forever. Keep making me get naked and start over again. It's good for you. You know, it builds character.